joining me to talk about all this from, uh, from Virginia via Skype is veteran diplomat Omar Samad. He served as the Afghan ambassador to France and Canada. Ambassador, I just want to begin with getting your reaction to this sudden U-turn uh, by President Trump to cancel these talks. Well, let's see if it's going to be a U-turn or a V-turn, uh, it, whether it's tactical, whether it's temporary, whether uh, the Americans and the Taliban are going to go back uh, and either reset or restart or pick up the pieces from where they left off. Obviously, uh, what President Trump said the other day, and he continues to say, uh, uh, has been controversial. Uh, there's controversy over the Camp David uh, venue, uh, and that is understandable. But the issue of Afghanistan is much more complex and much more important than just the Camp David issue. Uh, it's going to uh, be decided, it has to be decided over the next few days, uh, whether talks are going to continue or whether the path to war and the path to more conflict and fighting is going to be pursued at this point. So what was the real reason behind canceling this, in your opinion? I think that there are a set of um, uh, reasons that can be contemplated. On one hand, I think that we have seen over the last few weeks differences of opinion emerge in Washington, whether it's within the administration. You saw Mr. Bolton take one position, the State Department another. Uh, then you saw within Congress there, there are uh, partisan and bipartisan attempts to try to figure out what is happening. And obviously, overall, within the foreign policy security establishment, including the media and the think tanks, there are all kinds of opinions that are being floated around on Afghanistan, the future of the American presence or the withdrawal of American forces from Afghanistan, which is the main uh, cause of all of this. And what happens to Afghanistan, uh, politically speaking, as far as uh, the future of the Taliban uh, either coming uh, and, and negotiating a peace with the Afghans, the rest of Afghanistan, as part of an intra-Afghan process. So, and then you obviously have the region, you have the neighbors, you have all those who have some kind of stake and interest in trying to see if this country can uh, be stabilized in one way or the other. But the idea of inviting the Taliban to a meeting on American soil just a few days before the anniversary of the September 11th attacks, the worst terror attacks on U.S. soil, certainly getting a lot of pushback in this country. U.S. Secretary of State Pompeo has defended that, saying if you're going to negotiate peace, you often have to deal with some pretty bad actors. And I'm quoting here, does he have a point? Well, obviously, this is a controversy, as I said. Uh, it is uh, something, a decision that was taken. It didn't go forward uh, for whatever reason. At a certain point, uh, they backed off. From that, I, I believe that a few minutes ago, President Trump issued another tweet uh, that uh, indirectly relates to this issue, trying to frame it in such a way as, as to say that that was not really a serious uh, matter, that uh, we, we need to continue and even, I think, uh, uh, label the Taliban as dead, meaning that they, they, they don't mean anything anymore or that maybe that the war is going to pick up from now on. So this controversy, obviously, uh, is keeping Washington busy, but I think that in Afghanistan and that in the region, they're looking at the bigger picture and what is going to happen from here on with policy and strategy. I believe what Trump said was peace talks are dead, but we will check into that. And where do we go from here, Ambassador? Well, from here, I think a decision needs to be made soon about whether to continue, uh, whether to reset, uh, or whether to pick up the pieces and try something different. Uh, they will have to work with, uh, obviously, different stakeholders, as I said, and they would have to resolve some issues that uh, exist within uh, the American administration itself. All right, we'll leave it there. Omar, Ambassador Omar Samad, thank you so much.